Are the Vancouver Canucks Stanley Cup contenders in the 2020-2021 NHL season? Now look, a bunch of you are probably saying like, what? What kind of crack are you smoking, man? They just lost Markstrom, Tanev, Stetcher. Dude, this is rough for them. Toffoli, this is a really rough offseason. But you know what? A guy like Nate Schmidt, dude, that is an absolute steal. They gave up peanuts for him, and he is really good, a leader, and a great, great player to play with Quinn Hughes. I think that's going to be like a match made in heaven for Vancouver. I know they're both left shots, but I still think they would work incredibly well together. And then you could bring in a guy like Braden Holtby. Now, if you ask me, I think Thatcher Demko is going to be an absolute superstar goaltender in this league. But the fact that you have Braden Holtby, a former Stanley Cup winner, uh, so you can have a 1A, 1B situation. Demko can learn the ropes, doesn't have to worry about playing 65 games. And like that wears on you physically and mentally, dude. Like if you have to play 65 games and you have to put in like an A plus performance every single night, that will wear on you as a goaltender, man. Uh, so the fact that Holtby and Demko can kind of share the lion's share of games is really beneficial for both of them, man. And then I think that Elias Pettersson improving and having that playoff experience that he just got, it's going to be like a whole new trade deadline acquisition, man. Like he is already incredible. I think he's going to emerge into like a top five player in the NHL this come upcoming season. I think he's that good. The playoff experience was great. He performed there. He has extra confidence. He's probably going to get stronger, faster. It's going to be like Adding a whole new free agency uh, player, I think, and adding Elias Pettersson. Don't forget about a guy like JT Miller who can really, really light it up. And uh, Brock Besser as well. Having a healthy Brock Besser is key for the Canucks. They need him to be healthy. And Bo Horvat, every year this guy just gets even better and better. And he's amazing, man. I mean, like in the playoffs, to me, he looked like a completely different player. Like he was really good and now he's become really great. So when you have a 1A, 1B situation with Petey and Horvat, I think that's going to be deadly for the Vancouver Canucks. And don't forget about guys like Tyler Myers, Edler's still there. These are solid defensemen that they have on their back end right now. The only thing I'm not too sure about is Jake Vertanen because this guy, unless the Canucks go out and get somebody else uh, to kind of fill to Foley's spot or who can move up and down the lineup and play uh, meaningful minutes, Vertanen's really going to have to step up and be even better and more consistent than he has been. We know he's got the talent, dude. He was drafted really high in the first round. He's got the talent, but can he bring it on a consistent basis? I'm a Flames fan, and this is the same type of thing as like Sam Bennett. Sam Bennett, when he wants to be, he can play at a superstar level. The problem is, dude, he only does it when he sees uh, a shooting star in the sky. You know what I mean? Or, or like a full moon. Like, it's it's weird, man. And the same thing with Jake Furtanen. He's got to be more consistent and bring it every single night, especially with guys like Toffoli not in the lineup for the Canucks. And there are a couple of extra keys I'm looking at for this upcoming Canucks season. Number one, Quinn Hughes. How can you follow up a Calder Trophy level rookie season? Well, get even better. And you know what? This guy is sick. I have no doubt that if he stays healthy, he's going to get even better. He's going to be one of the best defensemen in the league. So if he can take another step, that's really, really going to help the Canucks. Up next, I'm going to group these two together, Adam Gaudette and Tanner Pearson. Look, Tanner Pearson ain't that young man. We know what he is. He's a plumber type player who can get you a good 10 to 20 goals per season. If he can get to the higher end of that with 20 goals, Canucks are money, man. Adam Gaudette, him, he's a guy who can steadily improve every season. So again, if he takes a step, and you know what? He's a good young player, relatively young player. I think that if Gaudette can take a step, which I think Jim Benning and the Canucks brass think he's going to do, unless there's another move waiting in the woodwork here, like a Mike Hoffman or something, which I doubt, then I think Gaudette's going to have to take a step just like Jake Vertanen in that forward group. Because you know what? You can't have Besser, Horvat, and Pedersen kind of carrying the team every night offensively. You need some help there from your secondary scoring, which I do think that guys like Tanner Pearson, even a guy like Roussel, I know he's kind of a weird choice, but I think he could chip in offensively. Brandon Sutter, there's talks of buyout for him, but I think he could be a valuable piece for that bottom six uh, for the Canucks, man. So this is important stuff because you need secondary scoring to go anywhere in the regular season and even more in the playoffs, man. That's what you need. Canucks fans, talk to me. 
what do you guys think needs to happen for you guys to get back to the playoffs and go far in the playoffs? Because look, dude, you guys were right up there hanging around with Vegas for a long, long time, dude. So uh, you guys were really good. And you know what? Demko was there. Uh, like, you guys don't have that different of a team. I know those are big losses with Markstrom, Stetcher, and uh, Tanev. But you guys are still right there, in my opinion. Coming from a Flames fan, dude, you guys are right there. What do you guys think needs to happen for you guys to get over the hump, make it to the third round, or even the cup final? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys next time.